All right, so for today's video, we're gonna be discussing the dreaded dowager's hump, the widow's hump. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you must be very fortunate not to have to experience this. So the dowager's hump, the widow's hump, what it is, is going to be the C7 bone here. It looks like it's almost protruding out. So you kind of notice there's gonna be a big hump or a bump that's located just on the back of your neck right around in here. So this can actually be something what you would consider to be structural. If it's structural, that means it's been there for a long enough time that it's involving the structures. And it's even been shown to show stress fractures in people because it is so hypertonic. There is such a major mass that is around that C7 bone that it's causing problems. Now, if we talk about what's called a functional Dowers hump, Dowinger's hump, or a functional widow's hump, this is something we can actually help to get rid of. So people that are now, even in their 20s, are starting to notice, oh my gosh, I'm getting that hump on the back of my neck. Probably related to being on a computer, looking at your phone, things like that. So here are a few quick stretches and quick exercises to help you to decrease the possibility of creating a structural. We can get rid of this. We can help you out right now. So let's get rid of it. First thing we're going to do is you're going to grab your foam roller. Nice thing is these are now available at the dollar store. So grab a foam roller or PVC piping or even a pool noodle, which you can find anywhere as well. So grab your foam roller. This time we're going to go vertical. Then you are going to sit down on top of it. Lean yourself back. You're going to have it so your head is going to be off of it. So you have that kind of range of motion. So what I want you to focus on doing is you're going to focus not so much on just dropping your head back and laying here. You can see right me doing this. This isn't going to fix my hump on the back. So I want you to think about dropping all the vertebrae in the upper back onto the foam roller. So it's all touching. And I'm trying to focus on bringing my head back and down, back into the foam roller. All right, and then I want you to spread your arms and I want you to take some nice deep breaths in and you're going to hold this for 30 seconds to one minute. Nice deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth, through your nose. And if you need to stabilize yourself, by all means, stabilize yourself. And if you're like me, my pecs are super tight, my arms don't go down to the side. All right, so after we've held this for 30 seconds to a minute, we're gonna sit up nice and slow off our foam roller. Then we are gonna turn it onto its side. We're gonna start the foam roller in our low back. So what we're gonna do is just some nice movements bring in our upper back down and then I want you to just minute move that foam roller up the spine and stretch out that back. Now I like to use my elbows and I can push it up and push it back down. So I'm going to move it up just a little bit. Same thing. Go into some nice extensions. And again, I like to focus not on just dropping my head back, but really on bringing my upper body back down to the mat. Move it up. Oh, you're gonna get a couple cracks in there too, it feels so nice. And you're gonna work your whole way up the spine. And then just up over the shoulders, keep going. And then I like to give myself a little treat. So when I get up to the top, I like to just move my head back and forth and get into the occipital region. All right. So next up, there we go. All right, so for those who are very adamant on being on their electronics at nighttime or for longer periods of time. So even if you see your teenager or if you notice yourself, you're constantly in this position. So a great way to kind of go around that, you can still have your screen time, I know, but what you're gonna do, you're gonna go on your stomach. So it's like a mini cobra. 
So this is how you're actually going to lay. And you can watch your iPad, but if you notice, you're flattening out that Dower's hump. So I want you to really push the shoulders back, and you can go ahead and you can watch your tablet. You can watch anything you want. This is a great way to eliminate the anterior head posture that you're going to be having. All right, so next, so you can either grab the foam roller or grab a book or anything that's going to bring your arm up a little bit higher. So prop your arm, put your head down. So what I'm going to get you to do is you're going to look up and back. Okay, up and back. So you're gonna do that for a total of 10 reps. All right? One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's switch sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, so one of the best pieces of advice that I ever give my clients is going to be when they are driving in their car. Now, whether you are passenger or driver, it doesn't matter. So what I want you to do is your headrest is going to be directly behind your head. So make sure it's up high enough or if it's too high, bring it back down low, just so it's going to be right behind your head. So I'm just going to show you laying down, but think of me as driving the car. So when you're driving your car, typically we all kind of drive like this. So anytime you get to a red light, a stop sign, stuck in traffic, anything, I want you to drive your head back into your headrest as hard as you can and you are going to hold that until you forget so you are going to be driving and you're going to be thinking about contracting the back of the muscles to try to help get rid of that hump at the top of the back there so you're going to be driving and you're going to be really focusing on pushing that head back and then the next time you get to a stop sign a red light or stuck in traffic you're going to rethink to yourself oh shoot my head's back forward again and you're going to think to yourself drive it back drive it back drive it back so think of these things try these things out every day to help to eliminate the chances of you developing a structural hump if it's functional it's something that we can help to get rid of so let's get rid of it today